Hi everybody, it's Janine from Buffalo Grove. I thought it was uh, time for me to come back and do some new games for you. So I wanted to show you a couple of different games. Um, in my classroom, we would call these games of probability. And we play them with a special dice that's got a different color on every side. Well, I don't have those dice at my house. Um, in fact, I don't even have a regular dice at my house, but I do have a dice that's for a game called left, right, and center. So I'm gonna use that dice um, today. Um, on this dice, there's, a, there's an R for the word um, that stands for the word right, an L that stands for the word left, and a C that stands for the word center. Also on this dice, there are lots of dots. For this game, we're not gonna use the dots, okay? Here's what I did. On a piece of paper, I wrote the letters L, R, C. And I'm gonna have a race to see um, which letter comes up um, the most times, all right? I'm gonna make a goal on my paper um, for this time that is a three. So I'm gonna write three. All right, see that it says a three there. It might look backwards to you, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dice and I'm gonna roll it. Up, oh, it came up as an L. I'm gonna put one line next to the L. Roll it again. Oh, this time it was an R. Now I have a line next to the R. So right now I have one L and one R. Let's see what happens next. Oh, a dot, I'm gonna roll again. Ooh, a C. Now I have one each, a left, a right, and a center. I wonder who's gonna to get to three first. Oh, here's a right. Again, a left. Ooh, if this is a center, it's gonna be a tie, a dot. Oh, a right. Right was the winner. I wanted to get to three, and right got to three first, so right is the winner. Another way to play this game would be to use a coin. I'm gonna play this game by using a quarter. On my quarter, I have two, sir, two sides, one that has a head. This is the head of George Washington. And the other side is called the tail side. And the tail side might have a different picture on it. This tail side has the, has, um, the state of North Carolina on it. When I do a coin flip game, I'm gonna go ahead first and I'm gonna write two words on my paper. I'm gonna write heads, H, E, A, D, S. I'm also gonna write tails, T, a I L S. I'm gonna flip this coin five times and whoever is the winner, whoever has more um, flips in their way, if heads has more, then heads is the winner. If tails has more, then tails is the winner. When you flip a coin, you can balance it on your thumb and your forefinger. And then when you lift your, your, um, your thumb up, then the head will pop, then the coin will pop up into the air like this. When it falls down, you look to see which way it fell. It was a tail. I'm gonna make one mark for tails. Try again. Here I go. Up. Oh. Tails again. Oh, tails is in the lead. Oh, that wasn't a very good flip, but it was a head. Now, Heads have one. Try again. Oh, it went all the way over on my tail, but if I pick it up carefully, I can see that it is, again, a head. So now I've gone ahead and I flipped four times. Whichever one this one lands on will be the winner. If, it's a, if it falls on heads, then heads is the winner. If it falls on tails, then tails is the winner. Ready, here we go. And it was heads. So in this game, heads was the So I hope you had a good time learning those games of probability. And um, like I said, you could play with your mom or your dad or your brother, or you could play by yourself. All you really need is a dice or a coin and a paper and pencil. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you soon.